Hey boys and girls, this is Wild Man. We'll see him doing a review of it, Chapter Two. Well, all I got to say is all the problems that they had in the original TV miniseries, trying to translate stuff to from the book, they took care of all of that in this part two. To me, the real star of this movie that steals every scene he's in is Bill Hader as Richie. He is fucking hilarious in this movie. And he is the audience eye for everything that's going on in the movie. So... All I got to say is big props to that man because he did an excellent job. I'm not going to go into any spoilers or anything about how did they resolve or anything. But anybody that knows the original miniseries, uh, actually read the book, probably would be more satisfied with how they f- did everything. With this movie. Especially the climaxes. In this movie. And also. It's a running joke. Anybody that is a Stephen King fan. Will understand the joke. I don't want to ruin the joke. But it starts off very early. And it's a through line. Through the movie. But once you understand the joke. You'll get what it is. That's one of the highlights of the movie. They matched up everybody basically perfectly to their teenage counterparts. But the only thing that kind of took me out of the movie was when they showed some of the flashbacks to the kids. When they didn't film it the first time around, they tried to pull a Marvel and do... The CGI de-aging to try to keep them to look the same from what they was. Some of that shit did not work at all. So that's the only ding I got about the movie is that. Because you can see they did not do it. They needed to talk to Marvel and ask them to use their program. Because they really (laughs) needed it for that part of the show. But. Other than that, it gives you your satisfied ending. Any Stephen King fan will be happy with the ending. They took out some of the corny stuff and some of the stuff that was not needed that was in the book and in the miniseries, but they took that out of it. So I was glad about that. And they actually went to certain places that if you fans of the book, I was surprised they went in it in the movie. So that was cool to see. They switched up a little thing here too. But other than that, man. Even if you did not see chapter one, you can still see chapter two and understand everything is going on perfectly. And you will not miss a beat. So that's another good thing about this movie. It, even though it's a chapter two, it could still be a standalone movie by itself without even watching the first one. So, good props to the people that wrote this and directed this and everything else. So, this is Wild Man Wolves signing out. See you next time.